Alright guys, in this video I am going to do a walkthrough of my Pelican Cash 110 High Drive 2. As you guys all know, this is my second Pelican that I've owned. Um, the first Pelican that I owned was the Cash 120 and that was my first kayak as well. So, starting out in the front with some of the mods here, you know I made a custom uh, face plate here. Um, the old one said Pelican on there but it was starting to deteriorate and you know some of the stuff was starting to get broken and cracked on it. So 3D printed this plate right here with a custom GMBF plate. Nothing too major there. Uh, right in the front here we have an anchor wizard. So most of you guys know what the anchor wizard is but I did have this anchor wizard in the back before uh, more majority of the time I was in the front, but I did take it off um, and have not used it for a long time and I also remember why I took it off was because the, the way that this is set up here I lose about four inches right here. So when I load up in the truck uh, the back side of my truck sticks out a, a, a lot more So this is one of the reasons why I took this off, but I have it back on on the front and then the anchor that I'm using is the bomb anchor really awesome anchor um, I've used this on the river so many times um, when I still lived in Wisconsin as you guys can tell it's pretty beat up but still does uh, its purpose uh, this is a six pound anchor so the bomb anchor uh, moving to the side here first thing we have is a yak gadget this is the yak well so if you guys have seen in some of my videos when I catch fish and I net it and leave the fish in here, let it calm down for a little bit um, before I do any kind of measurements or you know take photos and stuff like that. So this is the Yak Gadget uh, Yak Well. And here is the second part of the Anchor Wizard. Uh, this is the pulley system. Uh, it's a hand crank, so counterclockwise, you drop the anchor, clockwise, you pull it back up. So really awesome system for sure. Uh, next up we got here is one of my own personal designs. This is um, the G scope. Uh, this is the base right here and then I have the arm coming out with the pin. So right now this is the storage position. Pull the pin, put it vertical and then uh, drop the live scope down. So really awesome system. I've been using it for the last couple outings and it's been working great. So, um, in the front here, as you guys can see, I got my 943XSV GPS map um, chart plotter, which I use it strictly for live scope. I do not have a side scan transducer and stuff like that anymore. Um, so, some of the mods on here is I have this sunshade, or I call it the G shade. This is one of my first ever um, prints that I sold. Um, on my website and on my Facebook page so this is a G shade then you can see the deck matting some of my pictures on Facebook you know the, the white camo here honestly it doesn't it at first it didn't match the kayak but it's really grown on me and you know it looks it looks pretty good it looks pretty good and then here on the seat one of my uh, first ever mods was the do-it-yourself seat risers with using PVC I believe this was half inch PVC as you guys can see here. I don't know if I can zoom in on there or not. Half inch PVC. This is from the Pelican uh, kayaks. I believe they use uh, the same seats in a couple of their kayaks. So some half inch uh, PVC tees and half inch um, PVC piping themselves. Um, yeah, pretty easy uh, to put all of this stuff together. But I do have videos of uh, how to do this on how to do this mod as well on my YouTube and on my Facebook. Next here, because of my seat risers, uh, I have it, I have my 3D printed, this is the new rudder steering handle. Uh, so it's a lot higher than the old one, so I don't have to lean over um, to steer while I'm paddling. Uh, this is right here, I've been using it last couple outings and it's been working great. So it wobbles a lot as normal, um, due to this is how Pelican basically set it up so it has nothing to do with the handle just to let you guys know and then we got a pedal holder over here which I am currently not using got some gear tracks that I added all of my gear tracks are Scotty's uh, wanted everything to match 
back on my cash board. See in the back here, I do have my uh, cash board holder, but uh, I am printing myself um, the newer um, upgraded version, which is a lot thicker. Um, and then I'm gonna install that for the back side here. This is the Yak Attack Leverage Landing Net. That's what I got going on there. Awesome net, been using that for the last uh, three years. Working really, really great. One of the things that you guys do notice over here is I do have the Boondocks landing gear on my Pelican Cash 110. Second season with this setup, it's been working great. A lot of people tell me I'm gonna have issues with this based on Pelican's uh, material is not as strong, but it's been working great. Went through a lot of different terrain with this, working awesome. On the back side here, I do have a Yak Gadget uh, shallow anchor pole mount. Um, I have not been using this recently, but I do use it when I need to. And this is also a custom um, install. This was not made for directly for my kayak, so this was the way that I, I basically installed it. Um, I had some backing plate that I bought. Uh, I think it was uh, WHMU. Uh, cut that to size, and then it's underneath here as the backing plate. Backside here, as you guys can see, my big beaver tail uh, upgrade for the rudder fin. One of the big things about this was that when you have when you deploy your rudder it honestly did not sit low enough to the water line or deep enough into the water so when you're steering left or right it wasn't as effective you know it took a lot more than it should to turn the kayak so I did this is a uh, version 2 um, I tested uh, version 1 out um, I think it was last weekend and it worked great so that is the beaver tail upgrade for the Pelican. Besides that, still got the do-it-yourself um, foam matting in the back side here. And then we get to this side here. This is uh, one of the newest things that I did was the G-Locker. This is the rod holders to the side so you can have the horizontal as well as my paddle holder on the top. We'll be testing this out next time I get out. Looks like it's gonna work great, to be honest. Uh, some folks talked about the paddle that you know that the paddle is gonna slide and stuff. So I did have some extra material left over from doing my floor mats. Put that on there for each section from the front and the back, just to hold them just a little bit uh, better, so they don't slide. Looks like it's gonna work uh, really well. And then on this side here, you know, we have the RAM mount. This is the phone holder, as well as my G Caddy. This is the big boy. As you guys can see here, holds the pliers. I even got a screwdriver there, got my sense. A lot of my JB fish sauce right here. And then this big boy. I can't remember how many ounces this guy was. 26, 26 ounces. 26 ounces. And also on the back here, I have my Yellow Tech. This is to charge my GoPro. Really awesome setup. Plugs in right here. Runs off my 30 amp amped outdoors battery. Record all day long as long as you're, you don't run out of space on your SD card. This is from New Canoe. This is their uh, dashboard XL. Um, there was another piece that goes underneath here which made it sit higher but I decided that I wanted to take those pieces off on both sides and just um, using the gear track. Um, get that uh, tightened down just like that so it's just a little bit lower. And the last mod that I did do today was install this as well as cut my hatch open so I can fit my 30 amp amped outdoors. So my 30 amp is in there right now and it's getting charged right now. I wanted it to be in the front because I do have the Yak Power controlling all the electrical on this kayak so that's why I wanted the 30 amp to sit out there because all the wires are sitting up there so yeah this is the setup that I'm running in my Pelican Cash 110 if you guys have any questions you guys know what to do send me a message and we can talk about it